Hello friends, here's just a couple of pillows um, to show you, they're all lit up, and even that reindeer throw is from the 99. Alright, we're just going to get straight into the haul. This has to be, I think, the biggest haul I've ever pulled, and it is crazy, it's wild, and uh, let's go have some fun, and let's see what uh, cool stuff went came through the 99 this week. Um, if this video does break off, if I'm cut off, I'm coming back with part two. Let's get into it, you guys. Okay, this was go big or go home type of haul, and you'll start seeing why as we get into this. All right, I did pick up one of the Odwalla Honey Lemonade, and this is 59 fluid ounces. I also picked up Strawberry Honey Lemonade. They also had the Power Food Green, but we just do not like it, so I did not pick that up. Um, this is Best by January 2nd, 2018, and this one is January 2nd, 2019 as well. Now, I was pleasantly surprised to find Silk Creamer. Um, this is America's number one almond creamer, and this is naturally flavored caramel. Um, this was definitely a nice surprise. This is one pint, and expiration date is, let's see what this says, February 5th, 2019, and I should have picked up more. Okay, so I did pick up two in caramel and one in vanilla. Let's see what the vanilla expiration date is. February 4th, yep, I should have grabbed more. Okay, I also did pick up two more packs of the 28-ounce Oscar Meyer Oven Roasted Turkey Breast for my baby, Ollie, and expiration date is December 18th, 2018, so he will actually be done with this by Tuesday, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, Tortilla Land. I have not hauled this in so long that I was could not believe my eyes, but I found it. And expiration date says, used by January 8th, 2019, Restaurant Authentic. There are 36 flour tortillas in this bad boy. And um, these are found in the refrigeration section. So I just happened to be there at the right time. Okay, I also picked up, these were in the refrigerator section. I'm not sure why they're refrigerated, but I did put them in my fridge as well. These are Glutino, always gluten-free, and this is salted caramel covered pretzels. This is 5.5 ounces. I thought this would be a nice little treat for the holidays. And let's see what my expiration date is on this. January 15th, 2019. And I hauled the whole box of Lunchables. It says Lunchables uploaded, and this is the 6-inch turkey and cheddar sub sandwich. It does come with the Kringle, I'm sorry, the Pringles and two Hershey Kisses, a bottled water, and a Kool-Aid little mixer to put in it. And these are just easy for on the go. They're five ounces. And six do come in a box. So it's not like I hold a whole bunch. I just took one box. Um, expiration date is December 22nd, 2018. And each one was a dollar. I'm sorry, 99 cents. So this is a great deal. Another great deal, yes, I did haul the box, is this Quaker's Morning Go Kit. This is protein packed, and this comes with, you get um, berry almond trail mix, Quaker cranberry almond breakfast flats, and strawberry Greek non-fat yogurt. How awesome is that? It is 400 calories. These are new, and let's see what our expiration date is on this. And the expiration date is, let's see, December 25th, yes, 2018. And why am I buying so much? Because my husband is going to be off um, for almost, like, he's going to be off for three weeks. So I am getting together a whole bunch of fast and easy stuff for him. And um, these were also 99 cents a piece. Now, someone let me know that at Ralph's, for a manager special, just one of these 
was 248. It was 248 or 348, and that was the manager special for just one. So I'm definitely happy with these finds. All right, so this big Cheese It duo came through my timeline, and I said, "Wow, that looks cool." And I went, stopped in at a go-to store, and they were there. So I hauled it. We have 30 pouch variety pack. You get 15 of the duo. And um, let's see what this says. Sharp cheddar, ch sharp cheddar and Parmesan. And then you get bacon and cheddar. 210 calories. And again, there is 30 bags in here. Um, I think I paid $3.99. So expiration date is January 18th, 2019. Um... Anyways, it is on our Instagram, and it will say the price there. I also picked up my Hershey's S'mores. This is one of my favorites, so I did get two. Expiration date is January 20th, 2019, and you do get four cups in a package. Um, this Castillo Vintage Havarti is back, and this looks so good. I did grab two packs. Um, it says aged 24 months for a deep, rich, creamy flavor. And I actually just defrosted one that expired during the summertime time and we're eating it right now so these definitely do freeze well expiration date for this is february 5th 2019 again i grabbed two i also grabbed two of the stony field organic kids and you get four cherry and four berry um and our expiration date is best by January 3rd, 2019. So that is an awesome deal. And we know this is um, a very expensive brand. Now, this has to be one of my greatest deals. Is I got, let's see, one, two, I got five bags of 12-ounce cranberries. Granted, it's not um, a name brand for 99 cents. So I love my making homemade um, cranberry sauce. And this is just too cool, and I'm sure I'll have to pick through some berries. You know, I'm sure they're not all perfect, but could not pass up the deal. And then I also picked this up for me, and this is the Breck Stones, and the whole four. They had four for 99 cents. They weren't trying to do two for 99, so that was very nice. Uh, expiration date is December 31st, 2018. And I also picked up the Yoplait Original Strawberry Yogurt. I actually hauled this last week, but like I said, because our hauls are getting so big, I'm forgetting stuff. Um, all right, this is Strawberry Smooth Style, and this is two pounds. And let me check out the expiration date here. Let's see if I can find it. If not, we'll just keep... Oh, no, here I found it. Use by December 22nd, 2018. All right, I also picked up two of the Dole blackberries, and I might just mix that in with a strawberry yogurt just to see how it tastes. All right, we still have more to go, so let's get into it. Okay, yep, I picked up more for my baby. This is 22-ounce Deli Fresh Smoked Turkey Breast. Expiration date is December 28th, 2018, and I picked up one, two, three, I picked up four. I thought I picked up five. No, I shared the box. So I picked up four and then um, gave two away. All right, another find today that was a nice surprise is, and I will always haul cheese, um, is this Kraft Philadelphia for a creamy melt Colby Jack. And the Colby Jack is shredded Colby and Monterey Jack cheese with cream cheese. Expiration date is January 19th, 2018. And, um, yeah, I mean, I could have I could have cleared the shelf, but, again, you guys all know Crystal has room issue with room, space, bacon, $1.99. But I bit the bullet and I did it. And I grabbed four, I grabbed five packs of bacon um 12 ounces it, this is the select natural um smoked uncured bacon and let's see what my expiration date is on this awesome expiration date of january 19th 2019 so yay okay this is also in the freezer well Maybe it's just to be refrigerated. I don't know. But I picked it up, I think, in the freezer section. And this is 14 ounces. It was 99 cents. It's gluten-free penny. Microwave to magnificence, I guess, is what that's supposed to be. And um, I thought this would be an easy dinner. So expiration date on this says best if used by, J by April 2019. So it's an awesome expiration date. I also grabbed two of the carving board turkey breast. We eat this a lot. December 30th, 2018 is the expiration date, and you get 7.5 ounces. I grabbed one of these Devours. This is a sun-dried tomato cheese ravioli for the hubby. 
12 ounces and expiration date is, let's see what we have here. Expiration date is um, best by March 12th, 2019, another great expiration date. And you guys know that we like our P3s. We usually do like the bigger ones, but these were two for 99. And this is chicken, cashews, and Monterey Jack, something that my husband will eat. And I hauled three boxes of the Taz Tazo Iced Citrus Bliss. And it says flavored with other natural flavors. And this is 4.2 ounces. You get six filter, six filter bags. And it makes six pitchers. Um, I have never made this before, but I know this is a really good brand. So that is why I hauled it. Best before January 19th. Um, 2019. So I might be giving um, one to my sister because she does like tea as well. And I also was able to find three boxes of the Keurig. So that is awesome. There are 10 K-cups in here. And we all know K-cups are way overpriced, even for tea. Um, this is actually chai. So that is awesome. And expiration date on this is March. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. December 22nd, 2018. Um, again, I don't think tea expires, so I'm cool with that. It's been a while since I've seen anything in Belveda. This is cranberry orange. I'm going to try and hide that from my husband and see if he likes it. Um, hopefully he will. This is January 11th, 2019 is the expiration date, and this is five 1.76 ounce packs, individually wrapped. Okay, I did pick up two of these rice, whole grain brown rice for Ollie. Each one is 9.9 .9 ounces. And we'll see if he likes this rice. And I don't know what that gunk is at the bottom, but that's kind of gross. Um, I'm not worried about the expiration date right now. Oh, wait. Here it is. Expiration date is by the end of January 2019. These will be long gone by that time. And I am going to be making some thumb cookies. And so I needed some jam. So I just picked up strawberry jam from the 99. This is 18 ounces. And expiration date is August 2020. So that is a great expiration date. All right, I have never paid $1.99 for bread at the 99 cent store, but I had to give in because I have not hauled any wheat bread for a very long time. So I did give in, and still the expiration date is December 14th, 2018, even though I paid $1.99. But this is a thick sliced multi grain. It's going to go in the fridge, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. All right, I like I said, baking. So I picked up some walnuts, some chopped walnuts, and. Um, yeah, I have a whole bunch of baking to do. Expiration date is June, I'm sorry, June 27th, 2019. Candy, you know how Crystal loves her candy. So I did get the cherry punch. This is the sweet tart ropes, nine ounces. And we have an expiration date. It says best by June, 2019. I grabbed three bags of the Kraft Jet Puffed Marshmallows and these are 10 ounces each. Expiration date is April 2nd, 2019. I am going to be making ambrosia salad for the holidays, so that is why I grabbed three. All right, let's get into my Pace Chunky Salsa in medium. Um, this is, how many ounces is this? This is a pound, so we got 16 ounces. Expiration date is February 10th, 2019. We actually really like these um, garlic, spicy garlic chips by Heinz, and this is a pound as well. No artificial flavors, sweeteners, or colors. And expiration date is, looks like it says June. Um, let's see. All right, it says, you know what, 2019. March 12th, 2019. So that's another awesome expiration date. I did grab two of the organic, low-sodium, vegetarian, no chicken broth. March 20th, 2019 is the expiration date, and this is by Imagine, and this is 32 fluid ounces, so that's half a gallon. Um, I was glad to see that these are back, and this is the Quaker Sandwich Minis. There's five individual packs, eight grams of protein per serving, and expiration date is February 9th, 2019. Um, I actually did pick up two boxes of these because my husband does like these so that is a win-win and yay um mccafe gold i'm sorry cold brew this is the premium roast you get eight coffee packs these were 99 cents so i did haul two of them um and let me see the expiration date on this this is jan I'm sorry, January two, January 15th, 2019. Again, these are great deals. So very excited about this. And let's keep moving. 
All right, Ghirardelli Peppermint Bark. Yes, only 99 cents each. They are individually wrapped. It's super cute. You can put a red bow and you can give this as a little present for a little treat. So I grabbed two of them because I know that these are going to be gone, especially since they're only 99 cents and these are so um, Christmassy. And you know what? I'm not going to, I don't know. Should I read the expiration date? Sometimes I wish I had you guys on live. Um, I guess the expiration date would be June 30th, 2019. That's what I'm getting from it. All right. In keeping with the holiday spirit, I did pick up some Junior Mint. And as you can see, they are red, white. I'm sorry, red, white, and green. And these, again, were 99 cents. This is a 10-ounce bag. And I'm just really digging the holiday candy right now. Expiration date is, let's see if I can find it. Um, I can't find it, so I'm going to keep going. All right, I did grab the 10 Big Chewy Peanut Butter and Chocolate Chips. This was a nice little find. These were 99 cents, and expiration date on this is January 23rd, 2019. We do love these Berritos Sea Salt Blue Corn Chips. They taste exactly like Fritos, except they're organic, and best if used by December 3rd. What? You've got to be joking. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Oh, you know what? That's my fault. 8.25 ounces. I'm sure they're fine. I'm sure we're, we're going to be okay. All right. And Cascadian Farms. This is strawberry granola with organic whole grain oats, dried coconut, and dried strawberries. It's 10.5 ounces. And expiration date is December 19th, 2018. So that is really, really soon. Now this was, I am super excited about this. This is brownie brittle salted caramel and look how cute it looks like it has a bow on it but it doesn't um it's just a resealable package it's four ounces again with dark drizzle dark chocolate drizzle oh yummy i don't even know who sheila is but i guess that's sheila um all right let's see what the expiration date is on this one hold on october 5th 2019 so as, you can, so as you guys can see, I'm getting ready for the holidays. I am buying like Halloween little, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Christmas treats I normally would not buy. And I am going to be doing a lot of baking. Okay. Um, on the border, Cantina Thins. This is a great deal, especially this name brand for 99 cents. It says enjoy by January 23rd, 2019. And this is, let's see, 8.25 ounces. Now, Another awesome deal is this Hershey's Milk Booster. And I was super excited to see this because it says um, with calcium and vitamins and it is genuine chocolate flavor. This is 24 ounces. I only picked up one because as you guys know, it is just my husband and I. And let's see what our expiration date is on this. It looks like it is March 2019. So that is a decent expiration date. Um, I did pick up plant two of the planters Chipotle peanuts because I'm actually going to put one in my husband's stocking and I'm going to hide the other one. Um, expiration date on this is October 4th, 2019 and each one is six ounces. Okay, naked pure coconut water. Yes, I was so happy to see that they do have these large ones. And the, this is 33.8 fluid ounces. Expiration date is February 6, 2019. So I did grab four because it has been a very long time since they have had the large naked juices. I also did pick up Stacy's Pita Chips, Simply Naked. Um, they had a whole bunch of flavors, but I just called this one. Please follow us on Instagram. Uh, this is seven and a half ounces. And the expiration date on this is January 29th, 2019. I also grabbed the Quaker Simply Granola Oats and Honey Vanilla and Pecan. This has sounded so good. And this is 26 ounces. It's almost 20. Um, February 25th, 2019 is the expiration date. So that's another great expiration date for us. And... My husband likes this Cheese Whiz, so I was able to find it today, and this is 8 ounces by Kraft, and we have an expiration date of, used by February 12th, 2019. Another great expiration date. It has been forever since they have had the Ritz Crisp and Thins in bacon, oven-baked, 7.1 ounces by Nabisco, 
expiration date January 10th, 2019. So I am stocking up on a whole bunch of munchies because, like I said, I'm going to have my husband home for almost a month. Ugh. Anyways, post shredded wheat cereal, frosted cinnamon roll, and this is 15.5 ounces. Um, this was $1.99. Expiration date is April 11th, 2019. As a little stocking stuffer, I did pick up this Keebler Sandy's Pecan Shortbread, and this is 5.5 ounces. Again, this is stuff that my husband likes to eat, so I'm just going to be putting little stuff in his stocking. Expiration date, April 25th, 2019. Now, I also hauled just two of the Country Time Sparkling Lemonade. Um, I have seen them everywhere. Six do come in each package, and the color is so cute. I don't know why I keep hauling them. I haven't even tried the first ones. All right, expiration date is May 1st, 2019. I think that is all of the food. I'm not sure. Okay, it is the end of the food. Now, I picked up this beautiful pillow and throw for only $5.99. And this is going to be a gift. It is by Posh Home. I think this is a great deal. And I'm just going to slip it in a bag and Merry Christmas. So I hope they like their gift. Now how cute are these lint rollers for 99 cents? A cute stocking stuffer. I think they're adorable. So you know I grabbed two. They're pink. They're unicorns. I'm loving them. Okay, I also grabbed just one of these Baby Lips Crayon in Toasted Taupe 12 Hour Hydration by Maybelline. And I got this beautiful, beautiful um, bowl. Now, they did have it priced at $2.99, but you see that sticker? It was sold to them for $1.99. So I had them call the assistant manager up and I said, Look at the sticker and look what you're selling it for. And he said, Okay, I'll sell it to you for $1.99. And I said, Okay, fair is fair. Um, I love the color, I love the design, and they also have it in white, but I'm digging this Tiffany teal. And I picked up this adorable candy dish for 99 cents. All of the candy that I've been showing you, all the Christmas candy, is going to look gorgeous in this little um, dish. The red and the green and the white is all going to really um, stick out. And I just thought, you know what, um, Valentine's Day is the next big holiday. I'll have it all ready for Valentine's Day. You definitely, this is another cute gift for 99 cents. And I did buy this for my husband. It is for men. Even though it says basic, this is actually Con Air. If you flip this over and read it, it is a men's organizer. And um, it is Con Air. So it is a name brand, 99 cents. I also picked up two keychains that I liked for myself. And Coffee Addict is one of them. And it kind of has like the Starbucks um, colors. And I also picked up Yaz Queen. Because, what's our channel name? Queen of the 99. We're all queens and kings of the 99. Now, this, I am so excited. Soho London. Look at this organizer. I am loving it. For 99 cents, and these are my colors, pink and black. Oh, yes. Again, another great gift. All right, my deal of the week. These puppies are running $2.99. I bought them for 50 cents a piece because the antlers are missing. But guess what? They completely work and they light up and they are too cute. I'm definitely going to find a spot for them somewhere in my Christmas decor. So I wanted these, but you know I'm too cheap to pay $2.99. And yes, I paid 50 cents for each one. So I'm very, very excited. And she lights up. See, instead of, they actually look like does. You can't even tell that there's antlers. So, yeah, that was my deal of the week. And it would not be a haul if Crystal did not haul makeup brushes. $5.99, yes, I almost died. Simple pleasures, but look at all the brushes you get. They are gorgeous. You get 10-piece brush collection. I absolutely love how it says glamorous, how it's all blinged out. And yes, I am keeping these. These are not going anywhere. <laughs> They're staying here with me. I love them. And Tartan Twine, I will never pass up a Kabuki brush for 99 cents. Again, a great idea for a gift for cheap. You could give someone this. You spent $6.00. You spent $2. So, I mean, there's a whole bunch of great gift ideas out there. 
Now how cute is this matching set? You have the smaller one and then you have the bigger one and as you can see there's a bow with like a little brass in the middle is like the little brass right there and I just think it's too cute. Um, my camera is picking it up in a funky color but this is not the real color and these are by Soho London. So these are name brand. Each one was 99 cents even the bigger one. So you could give someone a set and some brushes or some hand lotion and you have a $3 gift. That is name brand. Anyways, these are big, these are sturdy, and these are awesome for travel. Now these are not cloth, they are plastic. It does say Soho London right there. And also on the tag, you open it up and you have a lot of room. So totally digging these and I think it's so cute how they come in a set. All right, keeping with the makeup bags, you know how I love my pink and black. Um, it does have gold trim, I'm okay with that. These are nice and big. Um, I picked up the other one, which is also pink and black, just reversed. It has lipstick, and this one has lipstick and the lips. These are really, really cute, and again, awesome gifts. I love the paneling on the side. Um, all right, I have more <laughs> makeup bags. Um, this is like a quilted makeup bag, and this is by Modella, and I really like it a lot. Um, I would definitely keep brushes in there. I also picked up its mate, its little friend. As you can see, the colors are, um, it's, it's a quilted pattern, but it is really, really cool. So um, this is what I found in that section, and there is more. I love this. It is sturdy. You have two zippers, and this is by Soho London. Again, 99 cents. Now, I did grab two of them, and there's so much stuff, you guys, that stuff is dropping. But, um, yeah. So, I was definitely... I have so many cosmetic bags right now. And I also picked up this mermaid tail to give, to kind of put, like, as a little favor on a gift. So, really gorgeous stuff. And each one is 99 cents. I'm pretty sure these are... Yeah, this is Soho London. Okay, so we're going to keep going. I did grab another JoJo bow. I'm going to keep this one for myself. It is complete. It is so, so cute. I believe this was $1.99, and I totally dig the silver and the pink. Now, this is a totally cute present. I'm actually keeping it for me, $4.99, and this is the fun and imaginative mermaid sequin tail throw. Um, I did pick up the purple and pink. And look at this, such a cute little handle. Um, and this is the other colors that they have. It says collect them all. And this was $4.99. So you can see the different colors. And I just love how it is mostly pink. Super, super cute. And you can go and pick your favorite. Um, and this is great for gift giving. Under $5. So cannot go wrong with that. All right, I'm already thinking ahead to... Um, Valentine's Day. So I picked up this llama and each one is 99 cents. And I also picked it up. <laughs> these, are, these are so, so cute, you guys. They're stuck together. Sorry about this. Um, I love the pink one and I love the white one. And I rarely buy like white, but this just screams, I don't know. I'm definitely going to be working this in my Valentine's Day decor. So I needed three. I could not have an off number, and I did not like the other color for, for me, for what I'm doing. But um, I am saving these for Valentine's Day. Yeah. And I also picked up the Disney Tsum Tsum Super Stamper Set. I actually, this is the only one I found, and I found it in a really remote area, so I grabbed it. And it says made with real wood. It is $3.99. Again, another gift that is under $5. So that's a great deal. Now we're going to be sticking with Disney. And out of nowhere, I found a huge Minnie Mouse throw. And I'm going to have to spread it out to show you. But I think my camera is going to cut me off. Now I did not pay $1.99. Now if you do find a Disney character, please... Uh, um, undo it and make and check for any type of damage because there was a little bit of damage on this throw and I spoke to the manager and I bought it for 99 cents and they did mark it so yep I'm going to show it to you right now it is super cute and I folded it in half but that's what she looks like 
and it says mini adventure and it says um, Disney but you can see why it was sold at the 99 because it was cut off now on the flip side it is a little bit lighter but it is the same motif and there they have the mini right so I'm imagining that's why it was sent to the 99 but hey I picked it up for 99 cents and I'm a happy camper these are two new soaps from Good Housekeeping, and as you can see, they are priced at $2.98. I did pick up the Polar Bear today. He is Peppermint Swirl. I picked up the Gingerbread, and he is Gingerbread Cookie for $0.99 cents each. Um, I also picked up, you know what, I'm just going to go with this. I This is a repurchase. This is Frosted Pine, and this is a 15-ounce candle for $2.99. Um, awesome throw awesome smell and this is one of my favorite finds I didn't realize what this was I turned it around and hello like one of my favorite villainesses I absolutely adore her and yes and it says born to rule yes I love this so happy I found it um Okay, we're going back to soap. This is Good Housekeeping. Oh, no, this is Simple Pleasures. And this is Frosty Friends Hand Soap. And I'm going to keep, I'm going to hang on to this for January. And I'll be using one, I'll be using this for my kitchen. And this is Berry Icicle Scent and Cherry Kiss Scent. And these are $2.99. Cute packaging, cute everything, loving it all. Sticking with soap, I finally found my Marilyn and this is girl's best friend raspberry peony scented hand soap $1.99 and I love the packaging and it's Marilyn what's there not to love about Marilyn all right so going back